Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16, and it reads, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bitches of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere arguments. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bet. I have created the waster to destroy, man. I have created the waster to destroy. It's the Heavenly Father speaking, right? He says, what, what again? Isaiah said, everything is a joke. Everything is a game until it ain't. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. Now, pursuant to um, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, the Lord said, give them water for me. You, you know what the prophets are set up to do? They're set up to tell you what's going to happen before it even happened, man. But, but but ain't nobody listen. They didn't once once again. They didn't listen when Noah was on the scene. They didn't listen when Lot was on the scene. They didn't listen when Yahweh Shai, who you even call Jesus, was on the scene. And they're not gonna listen now. But we still what? We still give them warning, right? Isaiah chapter fifty four verse sixteen. Behold. I have created the Smith. What is the modern day Smith? The scientist, man. All right. The modern day Smith is a scientist that blow off the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Look, look, downloaded the technology in these scientists, a.k.a. Smith's head to be able to split the atom, man. And bring forth nuclear capability, man, and nuclear technology. You see? Th things that make you go boom, 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 right? And the Lord said, look, look, I, I had them create, create a, a weapon for me. You know what I'm saying? And I have created the waster to destroy. What is that missile going to do? It's going to destroy, man. 
And it's going to go from one end of the earth even until the other end of the earth. This, this place is going to burn, man. All right? This, this place is going to burn. From, from, from New York, you know what I'm saying, to California, man. You see? And the Lord said, oh, look, I'm the mastermind behind it. Let's just keep, we can just keep rolling for a minute. Matter of fact, let's just stay in Isaiah. Remember, give them one from me. Only thing the prophet is supposed to do is just give you one. And the Israelites that don't take heed, you're going to get caught up in it, right? Because it's all about dancing and having fun and all that. But this day is coming. All the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. Right? And ain't that what the scriptures say? So week in and week out, the guy in the Bible just have us starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops, the great minister, just have us just constantly warning you, warning you. But, it, but eventually, the warning will stop, right? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5, and it reads, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise in garments rolled in blood. Pretty much going into how the ancient battles will fall, right? Shields, bucklers, screaming, hollering, horses, one opposing force against another, right? That's how the ancient battles, you know what I'm saying? Attire, your attire, meaning the clothes that you got on soaked in blood. You see heads over there, fucking legs over there, guts over there. That's how these ancient battles were fought, right? Screaming and hollering, ha, ah, and all this other stuff, right? But this, but this battle, aka this war, shall be with burning and few a uh, fire just read you know what I'm saying he created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire and then bringing forth the instrument for his work and he has created the waster to destroy the missiles were created and designed to destroy they wasn't created to put oh nice missile look at the colors on it oh it's nice and tall no no it won't create it for that it won't create it to sit in the museum near the dinosaur bones near the um, telephone booth you see Near the, um, the 1902 um, Cadillac, if, if it was one back then, no, those missiles were created to be used. Once again, Isaiah 9 and 5. So, so you Israelites keep playing around doing your damn stupid debates that ain't going to add up to nothing. And see see what the end all be all going to be for you Israelites that don't repent. Repent, Israel. You don't want to get caught up in this fire. You don't want to get caught in the fire, Israel. Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warriors with confused noise. Because look, this day will come. And pursuant to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, though it tarry, wait for it. Because there will surely come, all right? You got Israelites talking about, oh, my grandma was talking about that. What, what y'all talking about? My granddaddy was talking about that 40, 50 years ago. That, that ain't coming to pass. Everybody been talking about that. The Lord said he's not going to prolong his word anymore. The majority of you Israelites, you're going to get caught with your pants down, right? And, and my watch just went off. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 and it reads for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this but this war this battle shall be with burning and few of fire this is going to be a nuclear war this is going to be a nuclear war the most dead ain't, ain't no coming back from this Ain't no coming back from this, man. This, this shit, man. This, this this thing right here is going to bake this place, man. It's going to shake, rattle, and roll. And the only people that's going to be delivered over here in Babylon is the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that hopeful number, man. Everything else is going to be fried, dyed, and damn show laid to the side. Let's, let's get this right quick. Give them warning, regardless if they hear for a bit, just continue to give them warning. The Lord said, give them warning from me. It, it, so what if some don't believe? They're not going to stop the prophecies from coming to pass. That's the thing about it. Let's get this. Ezekiel, you, you can't stop the inevitable. The inevitable. You're not going to stop World War Three. all right? You're not going to stop whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's, the scripture says, come quickly. Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, a people before us, a place which represents you, Negroes, Latinos, and they're making and their watchmen are watching. The scriptures told us to watch as well as pray. Look, remember, a prudent man for see if the evil and hide from himself. You don't wait till the evils come upon you and then you're trying to hide yourself. No, you hide yourself before the evils come upon you, right? Meaning these bad times, right? I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. What do you think we're doing early in the morning, late, late in the evening, throughout the day? Whether it's raining outside, whether it's snow outside, whether it's sunny, it doesn't matter. Give them warning from me because it's going to pop off.
And the Lord said, throw it, Terry, wait for it. We're just going to keep flowing for a minute. Just keep flowing. Joel chapter 2. Just get this right quick. Joel chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. What does that trumpet represent? This word going forth, right? Who is Zion? The Israelites. From the Hebrew word to Zion, which means monument, monument, right? Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess. But I thought the day of the Lord was all about lovey dovey. You know, so I thought he was coming to, 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 to um, um, he got the whole wide world in his hand and all this other madness, man. The scripture is totally saying something different, right? A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people, and this is going into the missiles, right? A great people and a strong. They have never, it's like it, there have not been ever the light. Neither shall be any more after it. Even to the years of many generations, it ain't never been a day like what's coming, right? A fire devoureth before them, going into the missiles, right? And behind them, a flame burneth. The land, meaning America, Babylon the Great, the land as the land is as the Garden of Eden. You see, before them, meaning a big old paradise. Before these missiles hit this place, America's like a big old paradise, man. And, and all, everything going on, all, all kind of phones and tablets going off right about now. Letting you know the Lord's speaking, man. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land, Babylon the Great, the land of confusion, America, is as the Garden of Eden before them. A, once again, a big old paradise. And behind them, when the missiles hit, and behind them, a desolate wilderness, man. You see? Never being inhabited ever again by a human. Once the smoke clears and the dust clears, so to speak, the only thing that's going to inhabit Babylon, them say, is desert creatures, man. All right? What it say? And behind them, a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them except for the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, Lord willing, we part of that hope for another. And though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it, man. Because this, this is going to happen. This is going to happen, man. And this is thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. Let's keep rolling. Amos chapter 9, which is going to roll, roll for a little bit. This is going to, look, look, repent, Israel. Turn back to Yahweh through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Because when them missiles fly, man, look, look, they're not going to return. The, when, the, when the missiles are shot out out of the silos, they're not going to return back, all right? And, and, and the arrows, what do they say? Um, none shall break her rank. So the, so the missiles you know what I'm saying, are not going to be running into each other. It's just, this is not um, Independence Day with Will Smith and all that, man. All right. This is this is called judgment day. All right. Amos chapter nine, verse eight. And it reads, behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, a.k.a. the angels are watching this place. Right. Now, we know ultimately it's talking about Israel is that sinful kingdom. But you can equate you know what I'm America with that sin, sinful kingdom, too. Right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And how he's going to do it by way of the ICBM missiles. Remember the waster to destroy you. You forgot about that already. You Israelites going to real, really feel this, man. You hear how that do. You hear how people scream. You've seen house fires and people getting caught up in it, car fires and things of that. Then you hear how these people be screaming. How much more in that nuclear holocaust? How much more in that nuclear holocaust, right? And I would destroy it from off the face of the earth by way of the ICBM missiles, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, because the elect is going to be delivered out of Babylon. And you, you, you Israelites don't even, you don't have to believe us, man. Listen, let's get this. I must be allowed to get this. Isaiah chapter 42. We're just going to flow for a little bit. Look, look, just warn them. The Lord said, give them one from me. So, so damn it, that's what we do. Getting their, getting their bloods off our hands, right? Isaiah was on the highways and byways yesterday, giving people warning. No one, ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening, but it's all good, though. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9, and it reads, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. See, we declare new things, right? We declare that nuclear holocaust. We, we declare World War Three. You see, we declare, you no know, saying that Babylon is going to be destroyed. Look, look, before it even happened, right? And new things do I declare. 
before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So, so, so what are we doing? What was Isaiah doing? He was prophesying. What was Jeremiah doing? Prophesying. What was Ezekiel doing? Prophesying. What was first and foremost, what was Lord Yahweh Shai, who they when they call it Jesus? What was he doing? He was prophesying, telling you what was going to happen before it even happened. And that's the spirit that we're coming in. We're letting you know what's going to happen before it even happened, man. As a matter of fact, I want to get. Um, as a matter of fact, I want to. I want to stay in Isaiah. This is Isaiah. What is it? Thirty-four. Let's get this Isaiah chapter thirty-four. Let's just get this. For all you Israelites, say my grandma was talking about that. My my granddaddy was talking about that. Oh, okay. Everybody was talking about it, but but eventually it's going to come to pass, right? You think just because your granddaddy and your grandma was talking about what we talking about years ago? You no, know I'm saying just because it ain't came to pass, it ain't going to come to pass. Some believe the things which were spoken and some believe not. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, which is the Bible, not the Quran, not the Egyptian book of the dead, not the book of Enoch, not the 42 negative laws of Miyak, and none of that nonsense, not the book of the Mormons. All right. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Search the scriptures, man, and read. Blesses he that understandeth what he readeth, right? No one of these shall fail. Now, everything that I'm reading, the Lord said, none of these shall fail, right? Look, 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 look. None shall want her mate. The Bible stands alone for my mouth. It have commanded and his spirit, it have gathered them, man. So this word is going out hot and heavy, real hot and heavy, man. Israel, none of these shall fail. Everything that's written is going to eventually come to pass. And you have been warned. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have been warned. Remember, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. Matter of fact, let's get, let's get Zechariah. Let's get Zechariah right quick. Zechariah chapter 14. That's why the scriptures say, enter thou into thy chambers, until the indignation be overpassed. I Meaning, enter thou into the chips, into the chariots, man. You see? Enter thou into the chariots, what they eagerly call spaceships, you see? What they eagerly call UFOs. Enter thou into thy chambers, into the indignation, meaning the righteous anger of the Lord be overpassed, man, because the Lord's going to cook this place. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague. What was that plague known as? The missiles, man. And this shall be the plague, wherewith the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus will smite, meaning kill, destroy, delete all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, a people before us a place. The little, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And you got you got Israelites over here bragging about building bunkers and all that, man. Over here in Babylon, out of all places, they're not thinking about building underground, which ain't going to save you or deliver you anyway. But why the hell would you build a bunker, underground bunker over here in Babylon when Babylon is going to be destroyed? And the Lord had the Smith, aka the scientist, create bunker busters. You see, missiles that actually go in the earth, you know what I'm saying, and go down, way down, down, way down, down, you know what I'm saying, and, and getting them underground bunkers, you know what I'm saying, and, and destroy them, man. You see? And, and destroy them, man. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. This is what the missiles are going to do, right? Remember, Judgment Day, Sarah O'Connor. You better go watch that movie. Judgment Day, right? It says, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. This is what the missiles have the capability to do. And, and, it, and it's going to do it. And look, look, and before it happens, we give you one. That, that, that's all. Remember, the Lord said, think not. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Lord, Yahweh I said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. And then going in, um, to, what is it, um, St. Luke, the 17th chapter, I'm thinking. He, the Lord said, um, if it all, what will I do if it already be kindled already? Meaning this place is going to be already on fire. When Lord Yahweh Shai come, who you equally call Jesus, this place is going to be on fire already. And what is the Lord going to come do? He's going to come bring more fire, right? St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Because that's what everybody's been um, been teaching. For the last couple of hundred years, you know what I'm saying? They've been teaching that the Lord is all about love, love. He's coming to give everybody kisses and hugs and all that. The good book, right? The good book, right? No, the Lord is coming to melt you people, man, and leave you there, man. St. Matthew chapter 10, that's why they behoove you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent, turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful. 
with a contrite spirit, look, 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 or, or get burned, or get burned. St. Matthew 10, 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And that sword represents destruction, right? That's exactly what that sword represents. One. You have been warned that flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. You forget, you forgot that scripture already. You forgot that scripture already with that fast. You forgot that fast. Malachi chapter four, verse one, and it reads, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Remember, we just read Ezekiel 3 and 17. Give them one for me. You people, you you knuckleheads, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, you so-called blacks, Latins, and Native American. Look, look, you, this missiles, when the missiles hit, it's going to turn you real black, crispy, crispy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to shake and bake you, man. You're going to wish you would have took heed to this world. You're going to wish you would have never ran your mouth. You're going to wish you was never a scoffer, a mocker, a non-believer. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. But you didn't know that was in the Bible either, right? Malachi chapter 4 verse 1, and it reads, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Do you not hear what the scriptures are saying? This doesn't make you afraid. Habakkuk said he heard thy speech and he was afraid, but, but the majority of these ninjas ain't afraid of the words of the Bible because because they don't have the faith in it to believe in it. You see, but, but look, but we do. You hopeful Lex out there, you hear these words, you better fear. Let us all fear. Let us all repent daily. Let us all do that which is well pleasing unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? <clears throat> For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. You don't hear that? All the proud. And that's pretty much the narrative on the face of the earth. You got a bunch of prideful people walking around upon the face of the earth. Look, 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 look. Ashes, dirt, flesh that's going to be consumed soon come. It's going to be the biggest barbecue you ever seen, all right? The biggest barbecue you ever seen, and you all are invited, right? You all are invited, right? Yea, and all they do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up. That's what we're saying. Say the Lord of hosts, say the Lord of armies, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shine. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. The warning has went out, Israel. The warning has went out. But unto you that fear my name, there we go again. But unto the Israelites that fear the name of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings when the Lord pull up in the chariots, right? Remember, enter thou into thy chambers, until the indignation be overpassed, right? And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. The Lord is going to cook this place soon. Come and I got one more scripture. Then I'm going to wrap it up. For when they shall say peace and safety, this sudden destruction come upon them. Ash shall veil upon a woman with child. Look, look, look. And they shall not escape Israel. And they shall not escape. This is, uh, let's see. Revelation chapter 18. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, man. Revelation chapter 18. I'm just going to just hit the point and then I'm going to wrap it up. Revelation chapter 18. Verse 8. And it reads, therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Remember we read that earlier in Zechariah, the 14th chapter, verse 12, the plague. This shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Remember we read that? You forgot that already? Revelation chapter 18, verse 8, and it reads, therefore shall her plagues, shall Babylon, the great America, shall her plagues, you know what I'm saying, the, the land of the wicked, that whore, therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death. And mourning and famine. And she, Babylon the Great America, and she that is this filthy whore, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. But you don't hear it though, right? But she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who judge of her. So the Lord is getting ready to judge this place. And before the judgment goes forth, the, the sentence has to be, you know, saying her at first, right? So we're giving you the sentence of what's going to happen to this place before it even happened. And the Lord is going to come with the judgment. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Shalom.